good afternoon. Welcome to my daily. <laughs> Just reposition myself. That's a bit better. Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I'm. A, I'm. A, what was I trying to say? Oh, yes. I helped. <laughs> a little distracted by a cat walking around over there making some interesting sounds uh, my, my cat sit friend I help strong successful women find balance in love, life and business I'm also a passionate champion of the divine feminine ok that's the piece I was trying to say he keeps talking to me, he's over there you may be hearing a meow in the background cracking me up All right. so I do these talks every day called Messages to the Masculine, this is number 389 and today's topic is speak your truth what do you have to lose now I'm going to speak in the context. Here he comes. <laughs> Stormy, come over and say hi if you want to. Yeah, I'm talking to the camera. He thinks I'm talking to him. All right, getting on topic. This is going to be in the context of relationship, but it's also true in any area of life because I think now more than ever, speaking our truth is a critical feature. So, um, oh, okay. Excuse me a second. Yeah. This is Stormy. Hi Stormy, you want to say hi to the camera? You want to say hi? No? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, that's the reason for the meowing. Um, so <laughs> being, being authentic, show what's going on. So, speaking the truth, speaking your truth, what do you have to lose? Let me get into that topic. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a tendency. We have rules, it seems, in society about uh, not rocking the boat, you know. Don't create ripples. Keep it smooth sailing. Everything's gonna be all fine. And everything else. And even in a relationship, being truthful, speaking our truth, being honest, is a whole. Um, I want to say no man's land, but it's an unspoken place we don't play very often. And I want to. I want to speak to both the context of speaking the truth, but also how to relate in a way that is not um, offensive. Because some people think speaking the truth. Hang on, I've got to here in my eye. Um, speaking the truth, speaking your truth, let me let me make it this way. Let me explain what speaking your truth means first. <laughs> because speaking the truth and speaking your truth are two different things. Speaking your truth is speaking from where you're really at, what's really going on for you, what's really aligned for you. And speaking your truth can be done in ways that are very um, affrontive and also very clean. And I would give you a little guidance first about what speaking your truth really comes through as effectively and then why it's important to do. So first of all, speaking your truth um, largely means speaking from a place of ownership, being authentic, being willing to speak as a self-responsible and accountable person so that when speaking your truth, it won't be throwing shade on somebody else. It won't be judging somebody else. It won't be making your partner wrong in relationship context and I'm going to keep it in relationship context initially but it may go beyond that because this is a bigger topic than just between two people so speaking your truth is where you basically um, share what's real for you re real for you and authentic for you and true for you so for example um, and I'm I'm not speaking uh, how do I say this? an example would be saying something like um, in the situation I feel something is more speaking your truth than saying in a situation you did this to me and that dance is one of these problems we have where we have this bad habit and we do as a culture maybe as a planet I don't know where partners will blame the other person for things that aren't working and make it like it's okay and it's like no it's not see speaking your truth it's probably one of the biggest things people don't do in healthy relationships or don't do in relationships if you want to have a healthy relationship speaking your truth is vital because what it does is it brings you fully present and if you've been following my work for a while, you know that I'm very much about people being in healthy, authentic, loving relationships. And it means, sometimes, stretching into a new place of expression. So speaking your truth is a vital component of healthy communication in any way, shape or form. I want to skip outside relationship for a second because this is it's coming more and more in my life. I'm watching friends of mine on social media particularly um, really start to step into their authentic nature, their real truth, and speaking from a very deep, rich, and sometimes painful place to express their truth. And for some people, they get offended by that or they get scared of it because it's triggering their own deep um, 
self-review or self-respect or self-judgment is not being revealed. In my case, I'm applauding them and saying, bring it on, share it, let's get it out there. Because the more people who speak truth, speak their own truth, the more we're going to wake up the culture. You know, the Me Too conversation, I believe, really was about speaking our truth. So many, in that case, mostly women, some men, but so many women were finally fed up with playing along with the game and playing, playing nice and agreeing to these rules set up by other people that they couldn't speak up and speak their truth and they finally said enough and by doing so, especially as it's increased in scale and increased in um, impact it's changing industries, it's changing cultures, it's changing the media as we know it because this speaking of truth has a powerful effect in the world so to bring it back into relationships, I had to do a detour then just to speak that piece. We, we as humans, and I'm going to use general terms here because I'm not speaking about men or women or me personally, just in general terms, but we in relationship have a, have a bad habit, and I'm calling it a habit, of being nice rather than being honest. Now it's dangerous, so I want to be careful I say this, to just speak the truth all the time without any regard for other people's feelings because speaking your truth could seem like you, you, that's what you'd be doing and I'm saying no, not necessarily being honest can align to speaking your truth but presenting it in a way that is ownership based as I mentioned earlier the, the ownership language of speaking from your own truth your own heart, your own reality where you speak from my perspective is this not saying you should do that See, taking the pressure, taking it back to first person. You know, I feel this, and by doing that, your truth becomes authentic, becomes aligned, and it has the ability to inspire, awaken, and change other people's lives. That's secondary to speaking your truth, by the way. If you want to change other people's lives, so you speak your truth, do the other way around. If you're in a relationship, again, back to this context of relationship, because I want to keep making the point in here, because there's a piece in there I'm looking for that hasn't shown up yet, so bear with me as I let it come percolate to really get to this point. Okay, I was waiting for that. I have seen couples walking on side by side where there's such a war between them because of things that aren't spoken, things that aren't said, because those truths that aren't being said feel like they'd be too shocking, too challenging, and they might even cause a breakup in the relationship. But they'd rather stay where they're comfortable than speak the truth. The truth, the reality is that that comfort is actually a self-made trap where the unspoken truth are the, are the, are the bars on the cage around them. And so their ability to be honest and real and free is replaced by let's be comfortable in this padded cage and I know some people out there watching this are very familiar with the experience of being in a relationship that was felt like it was a padded um, cell <laughs> because you won't really speak your truth and break free so when I said the title is speak your truth what is it what do you got to lose let me get to the what do you got to lose piece because that's where people get so fearful of speaking the truth because they're worried about rocking the boat and, and causing, you know, making waves and stuff. First of all, <laughs> oh. first of all, what's the big deal with not rocking the boat and not making waves? I believe for most of us, especially the people I know in my community and people I'm around, we are change makers. We are game changers. We are actually here to change the status quo. So to speak our truth intentionally rocks the boat and makes waves. What do you got to lose? What you got to lose is being hidden. What do you have to what do you got to lose is to be small. What do you got to lose is to play safe. Even though it's a real double-edged thing because the truth is when you're actually speaking your truth it's actually safer it just doesn't feel that way initially but speaking your truth is where the power is for you to have the life you truly desire and in a relationship the same thing is true if you and your partner 
excuse me, this cat here. I picked up Stormy now wearing his cat here. Um, <laughs> speaking, two partners speaking their truth in relationship raises the bar, raises the quality, raises the connection in that relationship, and it will transform both partners beyond what they could possibly have known before. What you have to lose is a vanilla relationship. What you have to lose is a limited relationship. So speaking your truth is access to freedom, is access to expression, is access to truth that will take you beyond where you've been, take you beyond where you've ever been, in fact. And it will be a change of um, possibility in relationship. It's what I'm holding for myself. It's what I do in my life. I'm still getting better at speaking my truth in every situation, just to be transparent, because I want to speak my truth. <laughs> but more and more of us are doing that more and more of the time. To actually speak into that place of authentic expression of truth in every scenario, every situation, every communication, even at work. That's where it gets scary, I know. Is where your freedom lies. Your opening of the cell doors of the of the of the padded cage, padded cell cage, to open up into freedom and to be fully expressed. My invitation to you, my suggestion to you is that you can actually have relationships that live that way. Friendships, social relationships, family relationships, and romantic relationships that are based in truth. And this is not a how-to, this is just a declaration, a statement, an invitation to take that on. Because this is not something that I recommend lightly. But I'm becoming more and more clear that everything I talk about in my work is to inspire this in you. Sorry, you didn't know that if I was doing that. If I've been doing it for the last three and something broadcast, if you didn't know that by now, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Being willing to speak your truth, own your truth, and be in your truth is maybe the healthiest way to live life that I know of. And to bring that into your relationships, to bring that into your um, communication everywhere you go, will shed years from your life, shed years from your age, excuse me, extend your life, transform your health, and improve your relationships. <coughs> excuse me. I told you can't hear. You're getting a two to wait for that one. Right. Um, that may be my cue. <laughs> I made the point. So hopefully this has got some some juice for you. I haven't seen any comments or questions on the screen, so I trust your watches in the replay. If this touches you, it inspires you, it gives you food for thought, please let me know in the comments what you think of this, if this means something to you, if there's value in it for you, because this is not something that I'm just throwing out there. It's actually called a lot of my work. It's called my way of living, and it's called to what I think we all need to be doing more in the world. Your homework. <laughs> Kid screaming, that was interesting. <laughs> I said homework and a kid screamed. How perfect is that? <laughs> well, that was funny. Um, I presume you hear it on camera. I don't know. I can hear it back over there behind the camera. So, homework, if you choose to accept it, it's going to be simple. Speak your truth and look for areas in your life where you're not doing it yet, where you can do it. That's, that could be a big job, I know. But try and emphasize to see what happens. Again, questions, thoughts, comments, please put in the comments below on us. I'll, I'll answer them when I sign off. Um, we can find my stuff, by the way, in case you haven't seen my broadcast before. I have these all over YouTube and on my business page on Facebook and on my website. Um, YouTube channel first. That's Barry Selby, and the playlist is Messages of the Masculine on my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author, and on my personal on my website rather, on my video blog, which is barryselby.com forward slash vlog, if you want to do it that way. You can also sign up for my um, discovery session on my website, which is barryselby.com forward slash chat. And my books there, my coaching, my online program, all that sort of stuff. Where in your life can you speak your truth more fully? And where do you realize that there's no price to pay to do it? In fact, the cost is ridiculously low to speak your truth. And that you can take to the bank. Okay, I think I've made my point several times. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you again tomorrow. And, uh,
speak your truth. 